Welcome again, Wildcats. Okay, so we're looking at today's video about test one review. Okay, now a couple things is we're going to be reviewing the test on September, Wednesday, September 14th, and Thursday, September 15th. Now listen very carefully. On Wednesday, we're going to be doing test one review, and you're going to work independently or with a partner. Okay, now on Thursday, the teacher will answer any and all questions over the review. Okay, so if you work on a review on Wednesday, remember you can come in Thursday morning before school or, or Wednesday during lunch to answer questions. Other than that, then I'll answer questions on Thursday during class. Okay, so you have two days to prepare for the test. Okay, two days. Okay, and it's important because on Friday, September 16th, you'll have test one. Okay, you want to review and make sure you're ready for the test because once you take the test, the grade is the grade. There are no redos and retests. Whatever you grade you get is the grade you get. Okay, and remember that grade is 40% of your grade. Okay, now, now that you know when the test is, when the review is, let's look at the review. Okay, now... On the videos, because you have two days, I'm not going to go over the problems in detail, but I am going to give you what what pages in the journal to look at, okay? Now, for number one, it wants you to identify the domain, or actually the parent function, the domain, and the range, okay, of the parent functions, okay? This is in journal page five. If you look at journal page five, you should be able to answer all the questions on number one. Okay, all right, let's look at problems two through seven. Okay, now you can find information about problems two through seven on journal pages six and seven. And remember, it's asking you to identify the parent function, the transformations, and the domain or range. Okay, so again, journal pages six and seven. All right, now... Number eight and nine can be found on journal page three. I am going to give you a little bit because I know on the quiz you took, there was some confusion about interval and inequality notation. This is inequality notation. Okay. Interval notation, which you'll put here. uses parentheses and brackets, okay? Okay, now I'm going to draw a line separating 8 and 9 because they're different, okay? Now, this is interval notation. Okay, and you want here to write it in inequality notation. Please do not mix up. And that was the biggest mistake on the quiz is you mixed inequality and interval notation. Notice in inequality, it has inequalities and the word or. Sometimes it has or, sometimes it doesn't. An interval notation has negative infinity, the positive infinity has the parentheses and brackets. Okay. The key here is interval has parentheses and brackets. Okay. Interval has parentheses and brackets. And inequality notation does not. Okay. All right. And then the last thing from the review is to find the inverse. And then again, that can be found on journal page eight. And I've just written some quick reminders to find it. In inverse, you do switch x and y, and then step two is solve for y. Okay, so please prepare for the test. Remember, on Wednesday, work independently, and Thursday, come with questions. I'm going to answer any of all questions so that you can be prepared for the test so you can be successful on the test. Okay, so again, prepare, 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 prepare for test one. And with that, have a terrific Wildcat day.